first one I went to, I fired. Um, when I found that she was working more for my ex-wife than she was for me, and I found her saying things that was against me as a male. So I fired her. The next woman I went to, she told me, uh, why would you spend money on me? Why don't you just pay it in child support? Um, it was, mm. it was, um, <laughs> she was actually going, had just, she's going, she was going through a divorce herself and was fighting with her husband. So what she was going through affected me, exactly. affected me. And then the, the third young lady, she did a pretty good job and, and that's, uh, she, I thought she did a pretty good job, but she didn't do as well as she could have. However, my son and I, um, coming from a man who had a son with him all the time, we have the best relationship. And to go in a courtroom and have someone to try to strip that away from you, that is so hurtful. Not only to me, it broke me down, but it tore him up. So a lot of men are wanting to be in their child's life. And we should never let a court process, and a, no woman should ever walk into a courtroom, and it happens so often to where they tell bold-faced lies and say things that are not the truth about their father to strip him from his rights and to strip him from that child's life. And we got to, as a community, we have to get away from that because it's our children that are, when I talked about kids are being angry and hateful, it's because it takes two to make them, it takes two to raise them. Exactly. Irregardless of how well me and you get along, let's get, let's, let's get along well enough. That's right. Let's understand each other enough that you know what? I am his father, you are his mother, and I respect you for that, and I love you for that. But at the same time, let's come together and say, this is what we need to do for them. And I learned a valuable lesson, man, and, uh, from the Bible. <laughs> Lack of knowledge, man, perish. That's yeah, right. So we gotta go get this knowledge. That's right. That's right. That's you know, right. I, I, my, my grandmother once said, you know, the baby wasn't made in the courts, so don't let it in in the courts. Amen. And on that, we're gonna take a short commercial break, and we'll be right back. <laughs> Hello, I'm Al, video director, producer, and editor here at Save Filmworks. Here at Save Filmworks, we are compassionate about the field of video production. We would love an opportunity to serve you and your video production needs. We believe that video production should be an affordable option for everyone who has either a business or a personal need. We have packages that are available, one in which we are confident will meet both the vision of your project and your budget. So please click on our service tab above to find out the areas in which we may serve you. And thanks again for visiting Safe Filmworks. Hello, my name is Craig G. Jordan of Craig G. Jordan Training and Development. And I want you to know that once you recognize your value, success is guaranteed. Many of us want to become successful, but we just don't know where to begin. I have four key principles that will empower you to develop the greatness that is already within you. To find out more information about these principles for you and your organization, go to craigggjordan.net to schedule your next event. I guarantee, once you take these principles and apply them to your life, you will recognize your value and take hold of your success. This commercial was produced and edited by 500 Commercial. Visit www.500.commercial.com for your next commercial needs. Welcome back to the skinny. Um, we got a great topic going on with child support issue. Um, <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm so excited that we was able to share some knowledge with you all about child support. I want people to know that this is, wasn't a bashing session of women. Uh, it wasn't a bashing session of men. Now, we don't endorse deadbeat moms, and we should not endorse deadbeat dads. We believe once you, you become a parent, you're a parent for life. You know what I mean? You've got to take care of your responsibility. So, uh, you know, back to child support, guys. We, we, we had some, when we went to the commercial break, we had some great topics going on, and we want to share a few more of those topics with them. Um, one of the topics that 
gets me about the child support uh, rule or law or whatever, they uh, look at you, they'll take, they'll base the child support off of your, 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 your gross, mm -hmm. but then you take it from my net. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah. so it's a 30, if some of us, you know, at one point I know I was in a 38% tax break. You know what I mean? That's how, when you look at Fed and state and all this other stuff, so right there, 38% of my check was gone with taxes and right. all this other stuff. So if you're talking about another 30% yeah. in child support, man, I'm left yeah. with nothing. Yeah. You know, my life's yeah. going to be up. Yeah. What am I going to live on? What am I going to live on? When my son comes to my house, mm -hmm. what, what is there for us to live on? have yeah. fun with and do anything else with. But, uh, you know, so as he grows up, he can say, you know, mom always cooked a steak and, and daddy always took me to the dollar menu at McDonald's, you know. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> yeah. exactly. Think about it. And again, going back to father's rights, many fathers do not realize their rights in regards to mm -hmm. when it's time to set up child support. What are you asking for? Fathers have the right to ask for joint custody. And something I learned actually early today, joint custody um, how is it stated? You, joint you, custody. You, 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 joint, you can have joint custody. Right. You know what I mean? Custody. That's basically you get your visitations every other week. Right, right. And then you have joint physical, physical custody. That's it. Where right. you can split time with yes. that child six months and six months. You know what I mean? Right. You all right. can split time during that week or every other month or whatever. Right. You know what I mean? Right. So and it um, could be that could be worked out any other way, uh, mm -hmm. in many ways. I know for myself. I pick up my son every Wednesday and every other Wednesday stays with me till Sunday mm -hmm. um, because I'm not a weekend dad and none of these men are either and I know there's many men out there who are not. Uh, men have become in the household, uh, men wash the clothes, they put up the clothes, yes. they wash the dishes, they put the, fill up the dishwasher. Men have become the nurturers in the home, in a lot of homes. Um, and to, for kids to not see that every day it, it hurts the kid. It hurts the whole uh, household uh, when you take that man out of that uh, that uh, equation. So we definitely need to know that men need to fight for the arrangements that they, that, you know, you don't have to take every other weekend. Mm -hmm. right. no, you, don't. you don't have to take every other weekend because if you were in that marriage, you're in that marriage and you taking that kid to daycare and you're doing this, that, and the other every day, how do you dwindle that down to every other weekend? Exactly. It, become, it becomes a, a game at that point. But I, I will say this, you know, in no way do we condone fathers who do not support their children, Amen. who do not take care Amen. of their children, who do not uh, set aside that time to raise their children. Mm -hmm. You know, there are, there are women out there that don't have custody of their children who owe child support as well. But that's not talked about, the women who owe child support. Mm -hmm. and that is not even a factor in society. That, that gets kind of swept under the rug. So it, it, it's, it's a two-sided thing here. But I will say we do appreciate you mothers that take the time to understand that we as fathers mm -hmm. are needed in our children's lives. We, yes. we make impact in their lives and we're, we're there to help raise them. And we appreciate you for taking the time to uh, make arrangements with us to provide that care that we need to provide for mm -hmm. our kids and not taking everything to the courts. You know, that's that's just a crutch that I think a lot of women use. Uh, and again, when you're talking about a father who is not willing to take care of his responsibilities, that's what that system was set up for. However, it has been tainted to become one of those uh, uh, situations where every dad is victim to it. And we are grouped into a pool that says we are deadbeat dads because we are not either in the relationship or in the marriage or in the home. We are classified as deadbeat dads. And I also want to say, um, and I'm going to refer back to helping our mothers raise our brothers, mm -hmm. in an article growing up a statistic that, that mm -hmm. Mr. Wendell had written. But he stated in here, now we talk about money a lot. Mm -hmm. But uh, he, he had one little small quote, I love to say it. He said, when was the last time you seen a dollar bill read a child a good night uh, bedtime yes. story? It's good. Yes. When was the last time you seen a dollar bill uh, take a kid to a game? Or when was the last time you seen a dollar bill give a child a hug or a kiss? You know, we have equated all of those things that mean so much in that child's life mm -hmm. down to a, a dollar bill to an amount. And our kids are missing their father's hug, their father's kiss, yes. their father's caress, everything. Um, you see kids at football games who don't have anybody there to watch them throw, kick, or catch the ball because that father, for some reason, have, may have been 
pushed out, whatever. But we have got to don't don't make this thing 